Hello. Yeah. How we doing, chat? How is we doing, chat? How is we doing, doing, chat? How is we doing, chat? How is we doing, doing, chat? Uh, I'm probably actually gonna save the... Oh, shoot. I think it's about to start, like, right away. We're doing your... Oh, shoot. Okay, well, we're getting right into it then. Um, shoot, man. Uh, let's see... I was going to do a little team recap, but my opponent is now saying they're ready. So let's get into it. At everyone. Draft match. Boys. Born afterwards. Okay, um, so hopefully they don't freaking lose. Uh, I think I basically know what my whole team is. Yeah, okay. Let's see, Rentoid. So from what I know about this person, they are top of the board. Um, they're very, very high. Uh, so probably not gonna go very well, but you know what? We're gonna prage. Sinisty team, boom. All right, let's do it. Uh, uh, good luck. Have fun. Okay. God. What's the ban for Darkrai? I need to know, actually. This is very important. Um, ban for Darkrai and PCDL. There's got to be a ban, right? Or can you just use him? Cannot use Nasty Plot. Okay, good to know. So he cannot set up. Um, you're going to lose. I will not lose. Wait. Okay, good. I did not misspell lose in the title. I would have cried. I love P3, right? Okay, welcome to the stream. Um, God, what's even my lead here? I think I like Zami. I have an interesting set for y'all today. I also like Scyther. Um, I kind of just want to do it. I'm just going to do it. Okay, is this pre-recorded? No, it is not pre-recorded. I have not pre-recorded a draft match in ages, Grease. Okay. Um, so, this is an interesting zombie set, huh? Okay. Uh, Del Fox. Let's say he's psychic. Okay, we're actually gonna be fine. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm out here. All right, math. All right, let's get it. Very simple. Easy! Okay, so important to note, that was a strong psychic. So now we know, modest. Uh, we could just reflect right off the bat. I wonder if he'll switch here. Because I could switch too. 
And does he have defog? If he doesn't have defog, I'm freaking cooking. Uh Okay, okay, okay. Let's say he's 252. I got to I got to learn what this Delfox's stuff is. So Psychic did 34 in uh in light screen. Important to know what I outsped, so he's not scarfed Delfox. Uh, 34%. So yeah, I think he's modest max attack. I think that adds up. Okay. That's fine. Uh. Why defog with Gliascore? It's boots Delfox, obvi. I'm just gonna reflect. He has defog. I think he definitely has defog. Okay, do I at least have a good switch in to Gliscor? Okay, we've gained some information here, though. He's 100% defog. No poison heal? <laughs> Skill issue, TVH. Screen Zenta is crazy, Lamal. I know. Somebody in chat said that. Um, I really don't know what to send out here. Honestly, I'm down for Kanga. Because obviously we have Ice Punch. He's going to have Defog, though. He did not have Defog. Oh. Okay, I cannot waste Fake Out turns. Okay, by the way, this is Wish Kanga. Uh... I think just go for it. I mean, it's pretty obvious that I have Ice Punch now. I basically revealed it. I mean, he didn't click Defog. There's a chance he doesn't have it, right? Oh my god! Protect. Ah, he gained info. Imagine if I wished there. I kind of just want to wish right off bat. Because he's going to switch now. I got food poisoning yesterday. I lost 10 pounds. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that, Dolphin. Go to the bathroom every 30 minutes. That sucks. Really? Really? We're doing this now? Bro! Uh... <laughs> okay. Well, I'll take it. Sorry. Alright, so I got wished. Um, that's fine. Alright, we got the freeze. Honestly, now's the best time to defog these rocks away. Oh wait, no, I'm so dumb! Oh, I'm so stupid! If I defog it, won't it get rid of the screens? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Honestly, that's completely fine. I think I'm just gonna steam eruption here. The target thaws out if it's frozen. Hmm. I don't know. Ah! Oh my god, nice crit though. The thaw. Okay, we do have speed. Fudge, did he predict that? Blows my mind. <sighs> One of your screens fell. I see that. Okay, well, I can't defog. 
This is a weird situation. I don't really have a switch out for this thing. Wow, I really don't have a switch in for this thing. Um... I mean, yeah, I think he always gets his electro type move, because why wouldn't he, right? And against Kanga... Thunderbolt will do pretty good damage. Um... But not enough, I don't think. Volt switch, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, this is so bad. This is not going well. Alright. Fake out him. Break any sash that he might have. Don't die to toxic. Huge. Okay. Okay. So, now I don't have to worry about a Sash if he has one. Um. Fudge. Rocks is so bad for me to deal with, bro. God, it's so bad. I need to find a way to get the rocks out. But it's hard, because Volcanion is so slow. And I'm not running Heavy Duty Boots. I don't think I'm going to be able to defog. I just don't think I'll be able to do it. I'll be real. Well, to be fair, now he could just click Dire Claw basically for free. Do I sack? I actively do wonder if I just sack. Or I could Alomo. I mean, Alomo is pretty free, right? To be fair... Alomo is pretty free. U turn? That did so much damage. What? What is my Alomo set? Okay, I guess I'm no defense, but still, I really think that's got to be banded. Um, I really think that's got to be banded, man. Choice banned. U-turn. Yeah, that adds up. I think he's choice banded. All right, Volt Switch here will not kill me because I'm a spadef set. How much did uh, Jolteon do to Kanga? Kanga lost 42 to Kanga. I mean, to what the frick? Oh my god! No way! I think he's choice. I think he's choice specs. In which case, I will not live. I guess I can protect to see what he's going to do, right? And I'll get some lefties healing. Volt switch with choice specs equipped. Does 42.3, which is... Yeah, that adds up. 
he specs. Okay. Um. This is fine. Okay, this is fine. Really? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. What is happening? Is he going to try to toxic me? This is my only chance. This is actually my only chance. I think he actually threw here. I'm okay with getting toxic. Alomo, get, Alomo gets toxic in every single draft match to this day. Oh, thank God. Okay. And now Volcanion's gonna get healed and I can defog. Thank God, dude. Fudge. Okay, that's actually insane. So, now here's the next problem that I face. Um, okay, well EQ doesn't kill me, man. I think I just get rid of the rocks. I really do. Or I could Steam Eruption. And just try to get the kill. But man, I need these rocks gone. Can he kill me with Jolteon? Yes. He still has yet to see Defog. He's not gonna wanna... Whatever. Ah! Uh, I really hate this. Fudge! No! Oh, this is so bad. Okay, does EQ kill me? 93% chance to kill. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? It's fine, right? It's fine. I've seen all of his moves. I think this is my opportunity to send in Scyther. I can be immune to the EQ. If he clicks rocks, that's fine, because obviously I already send it in. I can SD up on his ass. He actually cannot even hit Scyther. That's actually crazy. He cannot hit Scyther. This is a free SD. This is fine. Yeah, he can toxic me, but who cares, right? I'm going to get so many kills. Dual Wingbeat has a 37% chance to kill and his evasion's down. Tox my ass. Go for it. Okay, so now, um, I have a decision to make. Do I want to go for the Oko on Bruce here? Because here's the thing. He could click Protect here, and that makes a lot of sense. Protect would make a lot of sense here for him. Because he's Toxic Stalling a turn. So if I SD... The thing is that Dual Wingbeat actually kills Jolteon if he just hard switches. But why would he hard switch instead of um, clicking Protect? I knew he was going to set up Rocks again, Derpster. I'm not dumb. I just knew that this was the best course of action. Um, silence, welcome to the stream. Um, Dual Wingbeat against Gliscor with max HP. This is, yeah, this calc is not even for max defense Gliscor. I'll never kill with Dual Wingbeat, so let's just freaking... I'm worried he's stream sniping me, bro. It's a toxic spell, especially since you have Roost. He hasn't seen Roost. It depends, man. Oh my god, I'm so worried he's stream sniping me. I'm okay with either play. Just do it. Just do it. He didn't protect. Oh, he... Oh, wow. Wonder why he did that. Did he expect a Terra, maybe? Um, now protect is very viable. Okay, here's the thing. I think Dual Meat is always safe here. Because, check me out, right? I can roost every day of the week here. Toxic is really building up, though, which really stinks. I mean, it obviously would have been a lot better if I roosted that last turn, but I wouldn't have healed that much HP anyway. I wonder how much I'll be able to... 
attack here through the toxic. How high does toxic cap or does it even cap? Don't roost. Just hit. Attack then roost. I'm not speed is the problem. Well, now I have to roost. And, by the way, I'm still going to resist ground. Ah! Uh, super unfort. He's just spamming protect. He's just toxic stalling me. What's the cap to toxic? You wouldn't resist flying. He just saw Roost for the first time, though. There's a chance that maybe he hoped that I didn't have Roost. Just keep stacking, really. Fudge! Just... <sighs> okay, I'm glad I Roosted. No, I don't think Toxic... No, no, no. Toxic does not st keep stacking. Thank God. Oh, we got a kill. All right, I'll take it. You know what? At the end of the day, if Scyther only gets this kill, I'll take Gliscor for Scyther any day of the week. Gliscor is a much more prominent mod than Scyther. So that is a trade I'll take any day of the week. All right. At the end of the day, I'll take that trade. Um. Okay. Now, hmm, uh, Darkrai is banned from using Nasty Plot, um, I do not have speed, obviously, I guess he could run Calm Mind, theoretically, maybe he'd think that I would switch, I don't even know Darkrai's stats, Lamau, yeah, Darkrai's really fast, he's 125 speed, 135 sp attack. Here's the thing, right? There's so many conditions to where Scyther would be able to continue going here. I think I have to sack, as unfortunate as it is. I mean, realistically, Scyther already did a lot, right? Scyther got rid of Gliscor, which is one of my biggest threats. Um, I guess, honestly, I may as well Terra Fighting, because what if he clicks Dark Pulse, right? Can I live a Dark Pulse if I'm Terra Fighting? I am still EV Light max HP. Let's find out. No. I don't live. Well, that's Specs. Hold on. If he's not Specs, I actually do live a Dark Pulse. I guess I'll go for it. Again. And this is my only Terramon, so it's not like I'm wasting a Terra. The question is, do I go for Roost? Probably not. I think I just go for a kill. Again, like, if I can somehow manage a kill on this thing, that's insane. So I think I'll Terra Fighting and just go for a kill. May as well close combat, why not? For better accuracy. Oh, he's still thinking. I mean, this is a plus three attack. Even if he sends in uh, Sneasler or Delphox. Hmm. Is Dual Wing Beat better then? I mean, Dual Wing Beat does kill anything. I'm just worried about Miss. Well, if he is thinking this long, it makes more sense that he's stream sniping Derpster because he has to wait for the stream to catch up. Oh, we live! Let's go! No! Oh! No! <laughs> no! The one percent flinch. <laughs> Super unfort. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a bummer. Oh, what a bummer. Okay, um. Now hold on, chat. Because he could still be Scarf. 
Well, to be fair, if he's Scarf, then yeah, Zamazenta... Yeah, Zamazenta's free here, no. Because I'm not going to get killed by Scarf. But he could flinch my ass. Uh, you know what's crazy? Light Screen's always free here, isn't it? Because I outspeed Sneasler. We already found out that Sneasler's banded. So, Zamazenta's always going to outspeed Sneasler, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Just to be safe, let's check. Um, plus speed. Uh, 372, my zombie is... Um, yeah, definitely outspeed. Um, so yeah, like if I light screen here... Um, I don't close combat because of obviously Delphox. He doesn't have a defogger anymore, so screens are so free. Let's do it. This is actually great. All out speed. Um, I guess he could go for a sleep move, but like, I'll have light screen up. He has three special attackers and one physical attacker. This is insane. Psychic? Wow. Crit? <laughs> That's just insane. Yeah, crit hardcore mattered there. Deserve too? That is not deserve, Stag! <laughs> I've been getting so BS unlucky this whole game. The only luck that I got was that freeze hacks on Mel Metal. Here I thought I was unlucky for the freeze into crit earlier. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bad, Lamel. Yeah, this is pretty bad, lol. It's all good, though. It's the game. Okay, light screen is still nice. Obviously, it would have been a lot nicer if I got the close combat off there, but whatever. Um, wow, that's so bad. That's, like, unbelievably bad. Um, bit of a hacks fest. Alright, so do I want to try to get a defog off? The thing is, is that... Okay, if I send in a Lomo here, what happens? He sends in a uh, Sneasler. Sneasler can kill a Lomo with a close combat. So... Hmm. What if I just hardcore send in a uh, Volcanion? He can kill. God. This sucks so much ass. I think I lose because of that crit. TBH, I think that crit loses me the game. Oh man, what a bummer. I mean, Lightscreen was definitely the play. It's just, you know. God, that crit. That was a pretty big turn, yeah. Lomo can heal everyone? No, because he's just gonna hard swap to Sneasler and kill a Lomo. I can't really do too much. I mean, I'm toxic too, so I can't protect to heal over it. Um, I can flip turn, but then if I... Yeah, because I don't have Reflect for Sneasler either. I think my best bet, honestly... I wonder if with Light Screen up, Lunala... How does Lunala do into Dark right here? Obviously, it has Dark Pulse. Light Screen's up, though. I'm losing Shadow Shield because of rocks. Hmm. You know what? I see the Win Con. We gotta remove the rocks. It's impossible. It is not possible to remove the rocks. Because I'm gonna send in Volcanion. He's going to take one-fourth damage because of rocks. Um, he's my only defogger. It's just not possible. Alomo can take two. Alomo can take this thing for days, but he's hard swapping to Sneasler every day of the week.
wishing to Kanga Sack won't work because if I wish and then Sack Kanga, the wish goes away. Yeah, it skips a turn. Um, I think my only play, hard swap Lunala, don't get flinched by Pulse, Agility, and I think, because Light Screen's up, I can win the game from there. Because Sneasler is at 54%. That means I should be able to outspeed. He still has this item, right? Yeah. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't outspeed after an agility. And Moon Guys Beam will always kill it. I guess. Can I kill Darkrai though with a Moon Blast? It's a 50% chance. We do have a lot of turns of light screen. This is so on Fort. Hmm. Oh. No, that won't work. <laughs> time lock? Nah. I like to take my sweet time. I wonder how Wish Flip Turn into Lunala is. I'll live Sneasler. Be slower. Get my Shadow Shield back up. So if he clicks Knock... Sneezer does get Knock Off, right? No way it doesn't. It doesn't get Knock Off? Really? How did I not know this? Huh. Well, I guess that has to run, like, Night Slash, then. He will run it, to be fair, because I literally have a whole ass Lunala. Or maybe Throat Chop. We'll put Throat Chop in. I did not think it could not learn that. Throat Chop. Throat Chop to Lunala at Shadow Shield. With a band. Really? No, it doesn't work. Throat Chop still okos me, even through Shadow Shield. I think my Kanga idea is cool. What's your Kanga idea? Locks itself into? At that point, I may as well protect, which is also valid. That is actually valid. Uh... Okay. Moonblast didn't kill Darkrai. That's the main reason why I could not risk it. I mean, I could have. It was a 50% chance, but I think I have other win cons. All right. I think just do it. Unless... 
Sneasler can kill a Lomo. I guess if I lock it into close combat, though, hard swap to Lunala, I'm in a really good spot. What? This is not what I expected. I'm actually shocked by this. Why did he send this out? Is he trying to Calm Mind or something? I have Light Screen up. I'm shocked as to why he did that. Okay. Um. Well, this is great. I should be able to live whatever he has, even with Choice Specs. Max roll he does is 49% with Thunderbolt. This is great. I can actually send out Volcanion on this. Or, alternatively, I could slow flip turn into Lunala, take the rocks, but then get wished back. I think I need to get rid of the rocks, though. How much does Thunderbolt do to Volcanion with light screen up? Too much, actually. But, I mean, I could still click Defog, and then he has no way to get rocks back up. Yeah, maybe I do that. And then I could send in Kanga later on if I need to get a fake out off. Yeah. Need to get rid of these rocks. Okay, let's do it. Screw it. Volcanion it is. I'll be able to live one and click Defog for free. Woo! Okay. Okay, we got it. Okay. Boom. Now we're full HP. Light screen's still up. I don't know. I have no idea why he didn't send in Sneasler. That actually blows my mind. He's throwing. Okay, well now, screw it, man. Defog, get rid of these freaking rocks. I mean, I'm going to get... Oh, I just realized I'm getting rid of my light screen. That's fine. Right? Ah, uh, it's fine. Just do it. I think getting rid of the screen... Mm, I mean, I'm still going to take... Ah! Oh, he does have three major special attackers. I'm not going to kill. Well, Steam Eruption kills, though. Do I just go for it? I don't think so, man. Just get rid of it. I would rather get rid of the rocks. Because having Shadow Shield on Lunala is massive. And Dirt makes a good point. This is going to be Terra. So, he could Terra. Okay, he didn't. Get rid of it. I don't care. He would have killed me with another Thunderbolt anyway. Oh! Oh my god, Defog only gets rid of the opponent's screens? I didn't know that! What? I actually had no idea that was a thing. I had no idea that was a thing. Okay. I had no idea that was a thing. Okay. Um, wow. Wow! Wow! Okay, that's insane. Um... So, if I send in Lunala right now... I take the Specs Thunderbolt. I'm in Shadow Shield. I have a whole ass light screen up. He's Specs in. I know he is Specs in. Yes, I lose my Shadow Shield, but if I switch in and then he hard switches, I think Leftovers might bring me to max HP. Because with Specs, Leftovers is 6% every turn, right, chat? So I think I can actually heal. After taking the Thunderbolt, then he hard swaps. I think I'll get back to full HP. Should be 8%? Is it 8%? Really? Then yeah, I think that's the play. We're healing to full. Uh, I was right, by the way. It's definitely 6%. But either way, that's perfect. 6% will get us exactly 12% back. Okay. We're back! We're back! Um... So... I think I Agility. Because Light Screen's actually gonna still be up for Darkrai. This is insane! And if I'm at full HP... Oh my god, this is insanity! Alright, I do always Agility. Dark Pulse, with the Light Screen still up... I could just bank on the Moonblast kill at this point. Just do it, man. I 
I think I got it. Because he threw and he sent out Jolteon. Okay. Agility. And then I'm at full HP, right? Yes! Okay. Shadow Shield's back. Um. Uh. Dark Pulse is doing jack all. Moonblast is only 50% chance to kill. But I may as well take that chance. It's better to do that than... Well, I could Calm Mind. Can I kill everything as is? With Moongeist Beam. Moongeist kills Sneasler. Moongeist is actually a roll on Jolteon. But it's a 75% chance to kill. Moongeist always kills. But I guess I'm worried about Jolteon's Terra typing, right? Is Calm Mind risky? <sighs> if Darkrai gets a crit, I know that this is the most ridiculous thing for me to worry about. But if Darkrai gets a crit here, what happens? He goes through screen. He'll do 80% around, I think. Or no, let's uh, turn off the light screen. If he gets a crit, let's say he's plus one spatak. Yeah. Okay. With Shadow Shield up, Dark Pulse should only do 94%. So, I think Calm Mind is technically the safest play. Flinch is impossible here because I'm faster. And we already know he's not Scarf. Plus, I... Okay, well, hmm. I guess he could have a damage-altering thing. Got my ass. Fudge! Uh, okay, Spatak Drop is pretty insane. Okay. Kalma, Kalma, Kalma. Dark Pulse almost always kills me here. Uh... Okay, I could sack Kanga. I could... I mean, the thing is with Kanga is that if I wish past a Kanga, Kanga's back in the game, right? What does Volcanion do for me here, realistically? Kind of jack all. I actually am okay with sacking Volcanion. Honestly, accurate. Volcanion sucks. He's slower than literally everything. Kanga at least could, like, do something after a wish pass. Volcanion can't do crap. Nice. I mean, I don't think that matters, to be fair, but... I guess it... Hmm. I mean, whatever. That really doesn't matter, to be fair. Just steam eruption. Okay. So. Think. After Spatak drop. I mean, Alomo's always going to eat this thing for breakfast. Hell, Alomo could kill this thing with flip turn. <laughs> What's the world where I just freaking do that? Flip turn into Lanala? Or do I wish? The thing is, is that I am risking flinch every time I... Hmm. I think I just flip turn. I really think I just flip turn. I'll get regenerator health. I cannot risk that many flinches. Just flip turn. I'm smart. Okay. So, we're getting a regen. 
Um, I I think Kanga dies to Toxic if I send it in right now. So don't do that. Uh, Lunala. I mean, I still don't know what Terra this thing is. He could very easily be Terra Dark and kill Lunala. And I feel like that's very common here. I could also sack Kanga to find out the Terra. Terra Dark or Terra Ghost, right? It doesn't matter. I mean, we could sack Kanga. I just don't know. Because I also wouldn't mind using Kanga here. And then what's the world where I just bank? Okay, well, here's the other thing, right? How much damage? Eh. No, because we know he's specs. He'll be trapped. If we trap him into an Electro-type move, Lunala can agility and then sweep the rest of the game. If he uses Terra Ghost, Aloma will be at more HP, so we could Wish Pass out of that, I think. Let's say he's Terra Ghost, why not? Kanga being normal does not matter at all here, because he's going to die toxic anyway. Um, Terra Blast against Alomo with choice specs does not do half, and we're going to be close to full HP. I wonder if we could wish past that. Alright, I gotta bait it. It's the safest thing for me to do. And I mean, hell, we're getting lefty healing. Do I sack Kanga, or do I just hard swap Alomo? I think I sack Kanga. Because, again, Lunala, after an agility, can win the rest of the game for me. Now that Darkrai is uh, brought down to 6%, I kill everything after agility. I just do. So... I mean, if he's spamming Thunderbolt, then I can still just send Lunala right back in and click... Um... What's it called? What do I do if he is Terra Ghost, though? Real talk. I guess knock. I don't even know if I want to knock, though, because then he won't be trapped anymore. I mean, he will lose a lot of power. Whatever. I think this is definitely the best play. We gotta find out what terror typing he is. If he does not terror here and saves it until later, he's stream sniping. I am almost 100% sure he's stream sniping if he does not terror right now. Really? Are you serious? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Okay. I mean, Alomo should be free here. Is this not a free wish pass? I don't know why he sent this thing out. Honestly, I would have sent out Darkrai. Well, maybe not. Because Alomo could have killed Darkrai, right? Shadow Ball should kill me. But if I get the free wish pass, because we're max but F max HP... Um, let's say he's choice... Okay, he used Psychic earlier on what? He used Psychic on Zamazenta, did 34%. I don't think he actually has a damage multiplying item, because the role that I see makes sense for what he did on Zami. Um... So, Shadow Ball probably will kill Lunala, because I don't have Shadow Shield. It's a 31% chance. Either way, I don't see why I would not just use Alomo here. I think even if you have some crazy crap... I mean, like, you're not going to be able to kill Alomo. I just know you won't. 
No matter what you click, I'll almost free here. Uh, I don't want to knock because honestly, I'm worried about Sneasler. If he hard swaps on a knock with Sneasler, I just lose the game because he'll outspeed Lunala after an agility. Um, so honestly, just switch pass. Screw it. Electric. Huh. Interesting. Does he win with that? He probably does have Shadow Ball. Hmm. This is a really interesting turn. This turn determines the entire game. Because if he Shadow Ball... Well, can Shadow Ball kill me? Shadow Ball cannot kill me. So... I mean, this is... Uh, let's just be real here. This is the game right here. This decision is the entire game. I can win right now or he wins right now. If he clicks Terra Blast again... Protect is stupid here because I'm only taking damage because I'm not going to heal enough to outset it. <sighs> Alright. Alright, chat. It'll be a secret to us all what I click. It'll be a secret to us all. What happens? Survey says... <laughs> GG. Oh, I lived! I lived? He did click Shadow Ball, though, by the way. Um... Okay, Shadow Ball did... Lunala's not Scarfed, it's Lefties. Lefties did come in clutch earlier. God, I got really unlucky this game, huh? I still don't, I'm still not 100% sure if he's stream sniping or is just like... Because he did make some wild plays earlier, so I don't know. I'm going to assume that they're not. Loud ass cry, that doesn't matter. Okay. I got brought to like 6%. Shadow Ball did 69 If my calcs are correct, he actually got a super mineral there. I mean, I could bank on the mineral again, I guess. I mean, if I get the mineral, right? This is so complicated. Stag, I understand that. I'm trying to get agility. If I click agility... Oh, wait! No, I lose. I just realized. Because he's not weak to Moongeist Beam anymore. No, I've lost. Yeah, never mind. For some reason, I... I kept thinking that I'd one-shot this thing with Moongeist Beam. I don't. Because he's... Yeah, no, I lost. 100% I lost. There's nothing I can do. If I could have still one-shot him with Moongeist Beam, agility was free here. Because then I swept his whole team. Yeah, this is unfortunate. This is definitely the unluckiest match I've had. I don't know, though. I lost that other game against Aaron because of an unfortunate crit, too. Yeah. I mean, I, I did my best, I think. Yeah. 
Now, honestly, that Terra on this was so smart by him because I can't, I can't win now. I just can't. I just can't win. Um, I mean, he could Terra Blast for free here. Like, there's no reason that he doesn't. What is my win con? Like, I don't think I have one. I'm gonna be real. Terra Blast always Okos. Not be running Sucker, though? No? <laughs> He's not running Sucker. Uh... Unironically, flip turn into a uh, Moongeist is a thing. If he clicked Shadow Ball there, then I had the slightest chances of winning. Because after flip turn, Moongeist has a roll to kill. But I'd have to get really lucky at that point, admittedly. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a win con. I just don't. I did live though. On Fort. <sighs> GG's. Sorry, I took so long to make moves. Lamel. All right. We just crit, it's that easy. I don't even think crit would have been enough to kill there. I'll, honestly speaking, yeah, I, I for, like, Terra on Delphox made so much sense. Now you're good, man. The hacks put you in a tough spot there. So take your time, yeah. I think crit should be removed. That is a hot take, and I just don't agree with it. The problem is, is that crits are, like, necessary. A necessary part of Pokemon battling. Because, like, without crits, stall is just way too strong. Like, setup moves. Like, screens would be way too OP. Defensive moves would be way too OP. Um, five moves, no crits. <laughs> I don't even necessarily think... Yeah, it's all good though. It's all good though. Maybe I'll get the run back in playoffs. Hey, dude, GG, well played. Oh, yeah, Rentoy, welcome to the stream. You were great, I gotta say. Great battler. My only thing that I was so confused as to what you did is, why did you send in Jolteon on light screen? I was like, what is the play here? <laughs> uh, but I guess in hindsight, you had Haze. Well, no, that was on Darkrai. Haze really changed everything. I wonder, if I just clicked Moonblast on Haze, would I have won? I don't think I would have guaranteed one because you always had Terra um, Delphox in the back, but it would have put me in a much more likely uh, spot. Hmm. Ah, but yeah, Rentoid, good game, man. Good game. Uh, they were. Everyone's typing in, look at the viewer list all the time. Lamau. See, that's what my mods have to do. That's what my mods gotta do. Can you actually look at the viewer list? I don't even know if that's a thing you can do. Pfft. No, but crits are a necessary part of the Pokemon formula. It just sucks that it had to happen. God, crit on Zamazenta was so game-changing. Granted, yes, I could have close combated on Darkrai. But, like, again, like, besides that crit... 
Light screen was so free there. It really was. God, that's so unfortunate, man. I mean, yes, again, I could have close combated and just killed Darkrai. But, man, the condition that Psychic, that he had to A, have Psychic, and B, crit it, that's just insane, man. Ah, oh, that one was the hardest one. I gotta say. There were some good plays in there. Like, I was proud of myself for Scyther. Bro, Rentoy was really spamming Protect on Scyther. We should do a little replay. Bro, a little replay. Hold on. Uh, the game would just be Calculator Fodder. Also true. Crits for the lols. Seem you weren't... Nah, nah. I'm sure they weren't stream sniping. Honestly, I, I say it as a meme. So confused by your play. Not only just saw the stream... They weren't sniping. Look at the bear list. God, did he actually keep up the momentum into you? That was, that was just good. But I could have fumbled. Preserving Delphox uh, and Darkrai because they were both Sash. Oh, well, if Delphox was Sash, I basically didn't have a chance. What what was uh, Sneasler holding, Rentoid? I, I kept uh, worrying about clicking knock on uh, Alomo because I, I thought maybe you'd hard predict and send out unburdened Sneasler. That would have been crazy. And it's having based, yeah. And Runtime's a good battler. The again, the only thing though, I'm so shocked. Why did you send out Jolteon? When I had screen up, Sneasler was so free there every day of the week. I don't I mean I guess we'll get to it on a on a rewatch, hold on. Uh that's crazy. So base thing as well, did it matter? Because like he had a focus sash on Darkrai. True, he was still full HP. Okay, so Calm Mind was always a throw. I should have considered Sash, is the thing. Because I saw in my calc that I didn't kill with Moon Blast. So I thought, let's Calm Mind, right? So that way we just get the guaranteed kills. Which, to be fair, knowing that Delphox is a Terramon, Calm Mind was actually smart on my part. It's just, he was Focus Sash, so, you know. Uh... I was sacking Gliscor versus Scyther because I didn't want to swap, but I had nothing to hit you. Banned. Oh, I knew you were banned, Sneasler. I don't know why I said that. I knew you were banned. Got the Sash prediction. Which turn? Uh, all right. All right, quick little review. Uh, light screen, very, very free here. I reveal my Chad dual screen Zamazenta. You know, in the whole game, Rentoid, I was... God, this is also a knowledge gap for me. I thought defog, if I use defog, it would get rid of all screens on both sides. Because why wouldn't it, right? Defog gets rid of rocks on both sides. Why wouldn't it get rid of screens on both sides? You know what I mean? I thought that too. Bro, that blew my mind when I clicked defog. Because I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'll get rid of my own light screen. <laughs> I was like, screw it. I'll get rid of my own light screen. Uh, rocks are like so bad for me. So I'll get rid of it, right? It turns out I keep my light screen insane. Uh, I had a little bit of hope when I kept it there, but, you know. All right, Reflect makes sense, right? I switch out to Kanga, which is fine. I wasn't too upset about getting Toxic here. I guess if I was being really smart, I wasn't sent a Lomo, because, again, I've said this a million times, I never care about getting Toxic on a Lomo, because a Lomo could just out-heal Toxic so much. Um, so it kind of is like a Toxic wall in that way. Um... Oh, God, there were so many bad things that happened here. Like, I could have just ice punched again. But I wished. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. And then I ice punch here. But then I get the freeze. Yes, sir. <laughs> I guess, hey, you know, that's two separate 10% chances. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's pretty crazy. Um, God, and then I... This is another throw on my part. I guess you kept Melmetal in on Volcanion because you just wanted to sack it, right? I assume that's what you did. I thought maybe you'd switch it out, but I guess in hindsight, maybe I would have done the same thing in, the, in your shoes. Sack Melmetal because it's frozen anyway. Like, switching out on Volcanion is kind of rough. So I clicked Steam Eruption assuming you'd switch, but I should have just clicked Flamethrower. My throw. Yeah, I don't know. That, that was a dumb play on my part. I should have just clicked Flamethrower. Uh, also definitely should have run Heavy Duty Boots on Volcanion, I think. 
I typed that defog only removes his. You already pressed it, so I deleted my message before sending it. Oh, really? That's funny. Dancy for rock, sure, but might as well go for that. He abused one thing you like, little hazards. You have Deancy. Oh, I have a lot of, um, well, do I have a hazard of options? Admittedly, I don't run them as much as I should. Uh, yeah, I mean, Deancy is really my only rock. Oh, and Archaladon. Archaladon's a good rocker. Uh, Crew also doesn't care about status, really. I use your Volcanion to thaw. Yeah, that was smart. Sneezer comes out. Fake out, because why not? I knew I lived another tick. That was smart on my part. Just, well, obviously it's fake out, and I knew I lived toxic. But more importantly, like, I was worried you'd be Sash, because at this point I didn't know your item. Um, and it was also good because it means that Lunala could Oko with Moongeist Beam later on, but not like that mattered because of all the, all the hacks. U-turn, that's where I found out that you were banded. I don't know why I asked you what item you were. I knew that you were banded the moment you did that. Um, Jolteon comes out. I'm max F, max HP, so I stayed in. I was never worried. Uh, I click protect. You click toxic. I knew you were. I don't care. I click Wish, I get a free flip turn into Volcanion to get rid of the rocks. Boom. Yeah, I guess, I mean, hindsight's 2020. I should have Steam Eruptioned here. But, like, obviously you could have switched, assuming I had Steam Eruption. In my eyes, you didn't know that I had Defog on uh, Volcanion. So, you know, I thought that Defog made the most sense. You stayed in, though, and clicked EQ which is completely valid. Uh, gonna be so funny when Manor gets upper handed one of these days on Kang. What do you mean? Uh, Alamo would have been huge, I think. Here? No, I disagree. I hard disagree. When I was looking at, um, on, uh, I mean, to be fair, Silence, you, you didn't see his entire team. This is actually one of the games that I never wanted to uh, run Toxic because if you look at Sinistee's team... Hold on, I have it here somewhere. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all of these mons, if you take a quick look here, one, two... I guess it's just three, but still, that's three mons immune to Toxic. And, like, I feel like Toxic on Alomo is somewhat, like predictable right like he could have switched in on either of these and even then toxic is not that useful to me like on that many of these mons like three toxic immunities um and like the rest of the mons like slow king can out heal it with regen um and then a lot of these are like glass cannons so it doesn't really matter that much like yeah Uh, thought I'd be using it on Sneezler. You should. It's such a meta call. You wish I had a day behind test 2020, right? In a league with a lot of priority users, I'm going to be slow. He clicked Stealth Rocks, but I, I knew that he would always click Stealth Rocks here, so Scyther was always smart. I'm actually proud of myself for this play for the most part. Yes, again, I should have just clicked Steam Eruption when I had Volcanion out. Whatever. I wanted to go to the Rocks. And guess what? It worked out in my favor because um, this happened, right? Uh, he Toxic stalls me here. I'm running max HP, max attack Scyther, so no speed. Um, I click SD again because I see Dual Wing B doesn't kill. I was hoping for Protect, but he clicks Earthquake. I, wonder, I guess you predicted me to switch? I feel like s that was kind of an odd play, Rentoid. Why would you click EQ there? Were you just trying to toxic stall me and you didn't want to click protect? EQ'd so I could protect and guaranteed. That's fair. Bro, and you got the double protect. There's so much bad that happened to me. Again, nothing against Rentoid, all right? I should not chat. It's nothing against Rentoid. You know, Rentoid played the game very well, especially with the hand they were given. But, like, there are so many things that happened bad for me, bro. 
It's nothing against Rentoid. It's the game, alright? It's the game. See, so yeah, he gets the double protect here. Oh my god! Oh, that was so bad! I wonder how much of a difference that made, right? Because I would have been so much more healthy if I just, um... If I killed right there. Fudge. Oh, that's so bad. All right, well, I roost on the protect there, thankfully. I guess realistically, maybe it didn't matter that much, because I think I only lost a little bit of percent. Eh, I lost a decent bit. I lost about, like, 4%. Which, honestly, no, it was massive. No, I lost, like, wow, I lost more than I thought. I lost, like, 14% because of that double protect. Um, Because I was at 36%. So I guess that's 15% um, right. So I lost 15% because of that protect miss. And then we see here that Dark Pulse doesn't kill me. I guess it doesn't matter though because Toxic would have killed me even if I did have 36%. No, what really matters is the fact that oh, there's so much that happened bad here. The flinch on the 1%. Oh, that, okay, that hurts, man. I clicked close combat there, by the way, uh, Rentoid. Bro, that would have... Oh, I mean, I guess you had Sash. Which, honestly, God. In that hindsight, I definitely should have clicked Dual Wing Beat. That would have gone through Sash. That's, that's, that's something I should definitely take into account more, is Focus Sash. I could have just clicked Dual Wing Beat and then killed your Darkrai. Hmm. Either way, I would have brought you to 1 HP, and then later on, when Lunal had to get a kill... I mean, it would have been massive, right? Even if you were on 1 HP. Because then I would have gotten the kill for free. And I never would have had to call mine. If I had the agility up, I could have just clicked Moonblast and killed your Darkrai. Oh, there's so much... Fudge! <laughs> Again, it's not Rentoid's fault, but, like, I'm pissed. <laughs> your team hates rocks. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, press some prior memories. Yeah, I know what upper hand is. Plus three priority, same as fake out actually. Team hates rocks, but Kang is slow ish. Kang's not really slow, Stag. Mega Kang is a uh, hundred base speed. I would not call I would not call that uh, slow by any means. Believe it or not, Mega Kang is actually one of the faster Mega Evolutions. And eh, maybe that's inaccurate. It's one of the mid speed Mega Evolutions. Like I would not call him a slow Mega Evolution by any means. By any means, I should say. Uh. Uh, IQ, EQ, yeah, 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 guaranteed. Knew you'd go for SD. Yeah, this game sucks, Lamau. Did you have Quick Attack Scyther? No, but I was very tempted to run it. Um, in hindsight, maybe I should have. I really should have. <sighs> yeah, like if I was running Terra Normal, but if I was running Terra Normal, I couldn't have lived the Dark Pulse on Darkrai. Like I literally ran Terra Fighting specifically for Darkrai matchup so I could resist it. And I just get flinched, bro. Oh, that hurts, man. 100 is not super slow, but Kang can't run Scarf. Oh, well, obviously. No Mega Evolution can run Scarf, except for Mega Ray. Some of the other teams I've seen against Manor. Should have Psychic done Scyther, but I didn't want to reveal. Uh, should have been punished there. This flinch is uh, what messed you over. Yeah, that flinch... That was for sure super game changing. I mean, I'll be honest though, the biggest game changing thing was the crit on Zamazenta. And these happen like turn after turn. Bro, that's so bad. That was turn after turn of just so unlucky, bruh. Look at this. Look at this. Actually, wait, what? What happened? Skip turn. Okay, so I live. Big brain terror fighting. I live to get the kill. No, I get flinched. God damn it. <laughs> then he clicks Zamazenta. Or no, I click Zamazenta. And then he instantly gets the Psychic Critical Hit! What? Like, ah, oh, it's so aggravating! Now, in hindsight, now I know that you're Focus Sash. So it made so much sense that you click Psychic there. Right? But, you know, under the same tune, I lived, believe it or not, I lived two Psychics. I did the Calyx. I lived two Psychics after Light Screen. And, and Crit just went through all of that. 
So, realistically, I didn't throw by not clicking close combat. Close combat would have flat out been a throw, because he would have lived on focus. So that, that makes so much sense why you click psychic then, now that I think about it. Of course you clicked psychic. Because you were banking on me clicking close combat, you're living on 1 HP, and then you kill me with psychic, because I have the spit F drop. I wonder if that would have killed me. Probably, actually, with no light screen on. I bet it would. Psychic, um, after close combat, spit F drop. Oh, oh wait, no, no light screen. Believe it or not, it was technically a roll, but it was super favorable in Rentoid's favor there. It was 65 to 77. God, that turn pisses me off so much. Uh, wait, am I tripping? I might be tripping. No light screen. Spit F drop. 60%. Okay, never mind. No, he had guaranteed kill. I'm tripping. Yeah, no, that was... Yeah. No, that was very smart on his part. But with light screen, it was very smart on my part. Because after light screen, I... Because, chat, you have to understand, like, this... To me, this is the most unfortunate part of the game. Like, yeah, the Scyther sucked that I couldn't get the kill. But at the end of the day, I was trading Scyther for Darkrai. Or not really. I was bringing him to 1 HP because I clicked close combat. Which is still massive. But what's more massive is having Zamazenta alive. A mon that outspeeds literally everything on his team. Uh, Oko's Darkrai, not counting Sash, obviously. Um, and outspeeds all these. Like, I could, one, I could kill Jolteon from uh, a little over half health. Uh, and I, I mean, it's a screen setter, right? Screens could have really saved me here. Realistically, screens were really good. I just got crit. Oh my God. The one weakness of screens, right? Is crits. And I, the first time I ever run screens, I get dicked, bro. Uh, I'm so sad this was such a hacks fest, honestly. I've had a pretty hacks free season so far. Mine... I've had a bit of hacks, but it's fun. You know what's most unfortunate about this to me, Rentoid, is that out of both of my games that I've lost were both because of hacks. And granted, I'm not saying I guaranteed one, be like, if I was not so unlucky. Um, I do think I was in a winning position, assuming there was no freeze on Melmetal. Let's say I didn't freeze your Melmetal and you didn't get any other lucky stuff. I think I was in a winning position. Especially, like, considering I traded Gliscor for uh, Scyther, because Gliscor was much more threatening than Scyther. So, like, that trade was really good, and then I could have brought you to 1 HP. Yeah, I think, um... Granted, obviously anything could happen. I'm not going to say I guaranteed one, but I think I was at least in, at an advantage if nothing like that happened. Anything could happen, though, to be fair. Um... So, I don't know. It's a shame because both of my losses are, like, very hacksy. And I lost both games to crits, really. Again, I'm not saying I guaranteed lost only because of the RNG. But, um... But, yeah, it definitely made it way harder, for sure. Uh, God, Aaron was so flat out, though. The Los Santos Septiles. Bro. Bro. I was... Ugh. I think I missed dual wing beat on Halucha, and then he crits me on that same turn. I missed dual wing beat and he crits that same turn, and that's why I lost that game. Oh, that sucked so much. But then this happened too, so. But every other game, like, obviously, this is the second game I've lost in this league. Um, other than that, though, I mean, I was in first place, wasn't I, in this league? Let me see. Rosters... I oh, know. Uh, God, I was in first place before this team. Hey, the Sinisties were second place, though, to be fair. Me and the Sinisties having our match. I mean, it's fine, because at the end of the day, I'm still going to um, be in a pretty decent spot, I think. I still think I'm going to be in playoffs. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe me and the Sinisties will be able to rematch, right?
Uh, Azama. Karen says. Get the flinch. You hit him with CC. Left on one HP. Scyther dies of toxic. Yeah, but that's such a good trade, Stag. Like, that's an amazing trade for me. Scyther is, like, a super unthreatening mon in the grand scheme of things. And I traded Scyther for both Gliscor and all of Darkrai's health? That is such a good trade. Like, I was really in a good position at that point. Because, you know, without the RNG, right? I Let's say I already killed Melmetal. Right? Because realistically, let's say in the world where he kept Melmetal out against Volcano, which he probably wouldn't have, to be fair, but whatever. Let's say he did, and I did, if I didn't get the freeze. Um, I kill Melmetal the same way that I did in this game. Uh, I kill Gliscor with Scyther, same stuff happens. Um, but then the double protect is also a thing, whatever. Um, And yeah, then I, I just flat out would have been one Mon down and he would have been three Mons down. Nah, that's not necessarily true. He would have been two and a half Mons down, basically, because Darkrai would have been at one HP. Meanwhile, I only had Scyther down. I had everything else. And Zamazenta always outsped Darkrai, too. So he was at one HP. Zamazenta could have just run up and clicked close combat. Got the kill for free. Fodge, man. God, that crit is so bad. And again, I'm not saying I would have guaranteed one if the RNG didn't happen. But I would have been in a winning position for sure. I mean, I would have been one Mon down. He would have been almost three Mons down. One of which being his strongest Mon. <laughs> like, bar none. <laughs> you know, Melmetal was also down. This is another one of his most insane Mons. God, these are three insanely strong Mons. And I traded for Scyther? Come on, dude. Like, yes, of course I was in such a powerful position if, uh, you know, if that didn't happen. Alomo still carries, though, as it does every game. Wish passing on- Wish passing into Volcano was insane. I- I had run- I have run Heavy Duty Boots Volcano previously. I should have done it again this game. There were a lot of scenarios where I think it- Volcano actually could have lived against Darkrai earlier on. If I had heavy duty boots because of light screen, granted, I would have had to not get flinched, but you know, it's little things like that where I could have defogged even without getting wish passed. So, uh, I guess if I had one major throw in this entire game, I think it's not running heavy duty boots on Volcanion. I think that's my biggest throw. Everything else is kind of like hindsight's 2020. Like I didn't know that you had sash on, uh, on Delphox and Darkrai. Um, yeah, I think everything else is hindsight 2020. But yeah, I definitely should have been running Heavy Duty Boots on Volcanion. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, likewise, if the flinch uh, happened, but not the crit, it's a similar story. You would have rammed face first into Darkrai, and he'd get, and he'd just psychic again. That's how I see it anyway. You would have rammed face first into Darkrai and he'd just psychic again. Wait, wait, wait. So Stag is saying a scenario where if the flinch happened but not the crit. No, I disagree because I would have gotten the light screen up and then he would have done... You're misunderstanding, Stag. The crit is the only reason why he killed me there. Um, because light screen was smart on my part. I'll be honest. Right? It was a preparation in case he was Focus Sash. So Light Screen was my best play on Zami. I, I will hold true to that. Th that's kind of what I mean. Like, I was in such a powerful position assuming no RNG. Because that was my best play, like, in the game for sure, was Light Screening on Psychic there. But he crit, so it is what it is, you know? Uh, it's like when you click Icicle Crash, you know? Uh... If Zama lived, you probably forced me to Terra Jolteon instead of Delphox. I was Terra Fairy. That makes sense. I kind of expected something like that. Or Terra Ghost. I was really hardcore expecting Terra Ghost, so I was trying to predict you with Lunala later in game. 
I think so. The screens are very strong. Yeah, the screens were great. I mean, ever since I revealed it first turn, like, that was a huge part of this game. And I legitimately, again, like, I, I'm really not trying to say that I guaranteed would have won. But, God, I was in such a powerful position, chat. You have no idea. Especially after Gliscor went down, because he had no way to get rid of the screens. This is, again, why I'm saying Scyther trade for Gliscor is an insane play. Because after he has no defog, he just cannot deal with screens. So if Zamazenta doesn't get killed, I can wish pass it later on. You know, this is an HP Zamazenta. I have no attack on this Zami. This is all bulk Zami with screens. HP and enough speed to outspeed uh, whatever his fast Zaman was. Like, this thing was insane. Fast screens and Metal Burst, just, you know, just in case. Um... Yeah, I don't know. This mom was perfect for this fight. But I just got unlucky, man. I hardcore disagree with what Stag said. The crit was the most important thing that went in Runtoid's favor, for sure. Uh, the crit on um, Zami. It's also way less likely than Flinch on Dark Pulse. Like, honestly, when the Flinch happened to Scyther, yes, it sucked, but it's understandable, right? Dark Pulse is what, 30% chance? Or is it 20? Either way, that's not a crazy thing to happen. You know, that happens, right? Many people get flinches on Dark Pulse. But crit on the moment where it mattered most on Zombie is so bad, bro. Because again, like... And yes, I probably would have close combated after Light Screen if he stayed in with Darkrai. Or would I, though? Because he was clicking Psychic. Maybe I would have switched. Honestly, yeah. Because they revealed Psychic. Why would I not switch? It's way safer for me to switch into, like, a Lomo and get a Wish Pass. Yeah, I definitely would have done that. Who am I kidding? After I saw Psychic, yes. Granted, close combo would have been tempting, because in my eyes, if he didn't have Sash, I could have just killed Darkrai. I don't know. Either way, even in that scenario, I guess maybe he could have killed me there. But I don't know. Maybe I would have predicted Sash. I don't know. That's a whole different story. Either way, again, we're back at the point where he's at 1 HP, and that would have completely changed the game. It would have completely changed the game, because Lunala could have killed Darkrai in that one turn. Yeah, this was insane, though, in my favor. I mean, this is obviously a knowledge gap. This isn't RNG. But it's funny that me and Rentoy both thought otherwise for Defog. I did not realize Defog didn't get rid of screens on both sides. Again, this is why screens are so powerful. I can Defog and not get rid of my own screens. That's crazy. Yeah, Thunder... Oh, this was such a smart play by me. Doing the calcs to make sure that's Choice Specs, Thunderbolt. Um, I assume you're a Choice Specs, right, uh, uh, Rentoy? Um, yeah, switching in Lunala on this to left DC all the way to full, even after Shadow Shield, mince meat. I wonder if it would have been smarter for him to Thunderbolt again there. Probably not, because I would have gotten so much setup if he did that. Haze was crazy. Hey, if there's one play I'll got, I gotta say, give to Rentoid. My man ran Haze on, <laughs> on Darkrai. That crap crazy. <laughs> Oh, I guess that would also, um, well, no, it doesn't really counter Scyther either, though, because of dual wing beat. Well, it's not true, though, because you outspeed me. Yeah, so I guess that's a good counter to Scyther, actually, damn. Shoutouts. Shoutouts. Yeah, this Darkrai was honestly a really good Darkrai, uh, for Rentoid, so shoutouts to Rentoid on that one. Like, Focus Sash, Haze, really hard counters, um, I would say it's a hard counter to Scyther, but it's really good. Um, and obviously it was a huge, I mean, if he didn't have Haze here, would I have won? I, I think so. Cause I had light screen up, right? Yeah. Cause I would have kept out speeding him. So I could have killed Moonblast twice. He could never flinch me with light screen up. I lived two dark pulses. So yeah, I actually think I would have won if he did not have Haze. So shout out to him. That was actually a game-changing play for him to have that. Uh, if someone lived, you probably forced me to tear Jolteon. So tear, da, 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 da. I think so. Screens are very strong. Or am I far off on that? You're very far off, Stag. I, I know I'm buying on chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rento, this is a very normal thing for a later manner stream. I go on so many tangents. I think getting Darkrai down to Sash would have made it a very different game. 100%. 100 percent 
Granted, in hindsight, yes, I should have dual wing beated on Scyther instead of um, Close Combat 4, the idea of Sash, but I just didn't want to miss, okay? I also think that's valid. I've missed many dual wing beats in these games. Definitely a different since Darkrai got hit later. You ended up with four mons left. I had a move on all my mons for Lunala. Yeah, I and that's generally what I've noticed. Like, Lunala is just such a powerful mon, even without recovery moves. So every one of my opponents does everything they can to run Dark or Ghost type moves. So any time that they can learn any Ghost or Dark type move, I make sure that I know. Or they're a Terramon, obviously. That's why I was pretty confident you'd be Ghost or Dark on Jolteon. So I was trying to hard read you there, but it didn't work out. Strongest minus Jolteon, yeah, true. Then Darkrai Help versus Lunala. Let you take more damage on it and not win the exchange versus Lunala, yeah, major majorly. Beats on Volcanion is big since your only removal. Yeah, that, that was definitely my biggest throw was not running boots on Volcanion. If there's one thing I had to say was a throw, it's that. I'll be honest, though, it wouldn't have mattered if I didn't get so unlucky, but whatever. I'm just salty. Either way, it was definitely a throw, though, to not run heavy-duty boots. Willow. Dark Rise fourth move. Yeah, I it makes sense that they didn't click Willow on uh, Zama, because I bet the moment they saw screens, they're like, no. And this is the real reason why Zama's a threat is screens, so they're not going to waste a turn on Willow, which makes sense. Uh, I'll send the pace if chat allows links. Oh, it doesn't. I'm sorry. I could post it. Um, if you put it in the uh, spoilers, Rentoid, I can post it. The crit was easily the biggest turn. Yeah, for sure. I want to see this team for sure because you cooked... You would not have predicted Sash. Let's be 100% real. On Darkrai, I was, but only to a certain extent. Not on Delphox, though. I'll be honest, I 100% never would have expected it on Delphox. I was actually expecting, well, before I saw Choice Band, I think Stag is a very, Stag has an opinion of me that's like very low, I've noticed. Stag, <laughs> whenever Stag watches me in these draft matches, all they have to say are criticisms, bro, which is fine. I like constructive criticism, but every time they say something, bro, it's always wrong. <laughs> it's always wrong, bro. Well, not always, but most of the time. Um, I mean, hey, uh, you know, I don't mean to brag about myself, but hey, before this round, I was first place out of 16. You know, let me uh, brag about myself real quick. Hold on. Let me brag about myself real quick. Y'all see this chat? Look, I'm still first place. Look, Synesthes has not taken over yet. I'm still first place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what where this will put me? I have to be at least... I have to be at least third or fourth, right? Yeah. Guaranteed third or fourth, which is fine by me. You know, I, I had a pretty good win streak. Um, and hell, I'm still going to make playoffs, so that's what really matters to me anyway. Uh, Dark Falls here. Yeah, man. And lights. God, if I had one more turn of light screen, could you imagine? Looking down here, I was just trying to sack. Me living there didn't matter. I think Volcanion sack was smart here. Hold on, let me post this uh this uh thing. I never would have expected Delphox, but to an extent, I did expect Darkrai. Not during Scyther turn, though, which didn't matter because I got flinched anyway. God, but even close combat would have been so good there, man. The 1%. Fudge. I abused Gold Dango screens in my last season. Yeah, you won if no haze. Yeah, I mean, that was a great set. Shout out to Rentoid to just being incredible with the whole team, both in building and execution. Yeah, you did a great job, Rentoid, I gotta say. Shout out to you. Second time Haze Darkrai saved me this season. I'd have clicked CC there on Scyther 2. Yeah. I, I was just safe. I did not want to miss dual wing beat, bro. All right, hold on. I'll, I'll show it out. Absolutely. Ooh. I mean, hell, you know what? And let's be real here. I know I was just bragging about me being first place. But guess what? They were second. All right. This was a battle between behemoths right here. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
the first and second placers going ham. So no matter what, this is going to be a hard fight. And I always knew that. Um, even if all the hacks didn't happen, it was going to be hard. Let's be real. That's why I say I'm not, I'm, that's why I've been saying this whole time. It would not have been a guaranteed win. I just would have been on the winning side. Like, I, I you know, obviously anything could have happened in that hypothetical game where uh, the hacks didn't happen. But I'm telling you, man, those screens, especially after Glyscore was dead. Oh my God, dude. Fudge. Oh, it hurts my soul. I had free screens, bro. Ugh. It hurts my head. It hurts my head, bro. Um, did I even... I mean, hey, like I said, you know what? It was a battle ruined by hacks. I'm not going to lie, Rantoy. But at the end of the day, we're going to be able to play again, all right? Let's meet again in playoffs. Yes, sir. In finals? Yes, sir. Um... Yeah, that's Rentoid's team, by the way. Uh, since you might pay some Discord, if you want to stretch uh, um. God, Alomo has just consistently been such an amazing mon. I mean, I used it in first season of PCDL, and like, I just knew. Even without flip turn, it was insane. Sacking Kanga there, trying to predict the Terra. Didn't work out in my favor. I don't think I could have won. I don't even think any turn of events, considering you were sashed, Rentoid, I don't think there was any turn of events that I could have done at this point in the game that could have let me win. I think I was just screwed, unfortunately. Because you terrored this. And you were sashed. Like, I couldn't have even one-shot Delphox at this point, so it was done. In the world where you were not sash... No, I still don't even think it was possible, because I never could have killed you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Rentoid played well, you know. Shout out to Rentoid. Hopefully we'll be able to battle again in the playoffs. I get to redeem myself. All right. If I'm going to Rentoid, what, what do you think? Um, I've already said what your biggest throw was, though, I will say. Tell me what I, what you think my biggest throw is, because I'm trying to improve, all right? I This is only my, my second draft league, so I'm trying to get better. Um... I know that I should have ran Heavy Duty Boots. That's a big one. What else could I have done better? Maybe Boots on Scyther, but I don't know, man. Eevee Light... The thing is, is that... Eevee Light Root... It would be a different set if I ran Heavy Duty Boots Scyther. Like, it'd be like U-Turn and like a Pivot. Like, it wouldn't be the same Scyther. And Scyther still did really good work. Again, if I didn't get flinched, it would have basically taken out two Mons by itself. Like, bro... That's insane. So I still think this set is good. But obviously I could have run a pivot set as well. But I don't know, man. I still think this was great in this match. I mean, it was a game-changing mod, really. It took out Glyscor, which would have let me... <laughs> keyword would have. Would have let me screen. Um, maybe Kangaskhan I could have played a little better. I, uh, to this point though, like, I, if I had to say one throw for, um, I don't know if you responded to me saying it earlier, Rentoid, but I really don't know why you sent in Jolteon here on light screen. It doesn't make any sense to me. I was so hard predicting you were going to hard swap Sneasler. Like right there. But then you sent in Jolteon. And with light screen, like, I'm so safe here. I guess maybe you didn't realize I was max, but F max HP. Maybe in Calx it said that you killed, because I guess you are Specs. Which I guess is fair. Yeah, maybe that's fair. Maybe you didn't know that I was Spadef HP, which is valid. You shouldn't have clicked Calm Mind versus Dark Ribe. You didn't expect Haze, so I think that's a fair criticism. That is a fair criticism. No, that's that's a great criticism. Thank you. I, In fact, I'll tell you right now. I barely play with setup. I am a much bigger fan of choice items, right? I love choice items. Which is funny, actually, I say that, because I don't think I ran a choice item this game. I didn't. No, I, I have a tendency to run, like, four choice items <laughs> per game, bro. It's so dumb. But, like, it, hey, it works, you know? Um, 
I'm a big choice item fan, so uh, I don't usually run setup. Uh, and I think it's because of that lack of knowledge that I just forget haze is a thing, honestly. <laughs> Again, I'm very inexperienced when it comes to draft and all this stuff. Um, so, you know, that, that that's a great criticism, honestly. Like, knowledge of haze. Maybe I should be, you know, if I am trying to set something up, I should be aware of what mons can learn haze. And yeah, you know. If I just clicked agility and just clicked moonblast there on the haze, it would have been a completely different game. It really would have. Shouldn't have gotten greedy. Uh, send John because I didn't know you were spadef and it still did a lot. Yeah, I actually think if I wasn't spadef, like let's say I was defense HP, I think you would have killed. I wonder if I was defense spadef instead of HP if you killed, maybe. More of a click buttons kind of guy. Same. Yeah, that one... I mean, I don't know. I can't... I guess it is a criticism. I would say it is. Because I think Sneasler was always the play there. I will say. Like, I think if I were in your shoes, I would have always sent out Sneasler. Because even in the stream, like, I guess maybe you could go through the VOD if you really want to see it. But, like, what, my reaction to the actual fight. Um, but... In this moment, I was almost 100% sure you were sending out Sneasler. And I'm going to be honest, the fact you did send in Jolteon, I was looking pretty. I was looking pretty. This Wish Pass, granted it didn't end up saving me the game, but it was pretty massive. Right? Like, I live the T-Bolt, and then I get the Wish Pass into, uh, into Volk. Boom. And then we get the Defog, and I still have Light Screen up. Thunderbolt made sense there. Defog was, I mean, hey, listen, I thought Defog was worth it even through getting rid of my light screen. So the fact I kept the light screen, insane. Bro. Insane. God, this haze, man. All right, well, we've already said a bunch about it. You died in my calc. If you were max defense, max HP, even through screen, which makes sense. I always, you know, for me, it always depends on what the opponent has. Like, I noticed that you had mostly special attackers, so I ran max Bidef. Um And, I mean, to be fair, Alomo did great, so I think that was a good decision on my part. Can't believe you moved Variety Wednesday back and you want to work right now. I'm sorry, America. I'm sorry. I tried to get the game. Hey, Rentoy can attest to this, okay? I tried to schedule the game before 11, uh, but they weren't available, so it is what it is. It's Rentoid's fault! <laughs> uh, I, I usually try to schedule my games before stream times, so that way I, uh, you know, don't, uh, like, you know, don't uh, go over my stream schedule thing, so... Uh, and Wednesdays specifically are Variety Wednesdays, which is where I play games. Anything other than Pokemon, <laughs> basically. Or anything other than games that I've already played, basically. Uh, plus, I wanted Jolteon in to stop Volcano from coming in for free. He did, unfortunately. I was at work. No, I mean, you're good, Rentoid. I I'm just, I'm just, you know. Uh, your mom. Your mom. All right. But I guess we're done here. Uh, again, thanks for coming out, Rentoid, and giving in your insight. I appreciate it. Hey, and you know what? That insight on Haze, that's going to help me a lot. I'm going to be looking I'm gonna be looking at Haze if we play in playoffs. Yes, sir. I'm going to be looking for that. Just you wait. But I might be running an entirely different team. GG, see you in playoffs, hopefully. Yeah, you too. That was a fun game. Either Well, maybe I wouldn't say it was a fun game. But, <laughs> but uh, you know what? It was close, I think. It wasn't that close. <laughs> I mean, it was close towards the beginning. Whatever. Uh, so don't lose till then. I think we only have one game, right? One game until uh, playoffs. Oh, no, I guess we have two more. Yeah. I think I could actually lose one more time and still make playoffs. Um, I just got to win one, which would be fine. I think I can win. Um, but yeah. I'm no longer first place chat. All right. 
GG's. Uh, we're going to get started on Variety Wednesdays. Sorry that took so long for anybody who was here for Variety Wednesdays. Um, but I had a lot of fun uh, reviewing the games and talking about how RNG affects Pokemon and stuff like that. Um, yada, yada, yada. See ya. Um, I am going to get started. Uh, I'm going to stop stream and I'm going to start it up again for Bloodborne. Uh... I did grind some health potions, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, I'll see y'all in a sec. Uh, give me like two, three minutes. Bye.